Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel where today we're going to be taking a look back at a new series that we're going to be bringing back that we didn't, that we were going to be doing before, but you know, just things got in the way and we weren't able to complete it. And it's going to be looking at some of the most meta players now in FIFA. Obviously, now it is March, so there's a lot more players that have come out since the last uh, the last set of videos which we did, which I think we're in like October or November, which is obviously four or five months ago and there's been a lot of uh, great players that have come out since then so I think a good thing to do for those of you guys that are interested we're going to be going through the goalkeepers all the way through to the strikers today we've got the top five goalkeepers I think in the other positions we're going to be having 10 players so we're going to be doing the top 10 best players that I think from experience through using them or through playing against them regularly who are the best 10 players in each position so if you do want to see that do drop a thumbs up on the video if you're new to the channel. Make sure to subscribe as well if you are new as well. So starting off with number five. And first things first, I just want to say before we get into the goalkeepers. I think with goalkeepers, it is a bit different than other positions. I don't think there is necessarily a best slash meta goalkeeper. Um, I think with goalkeepers, it's who is the most consistent. Because with goalkeepers, obviously, you're never controlling them. So it's not something that you're obviously ever in control of. So it doesn't really... I don't think it's really you know determined by what is meta i think it's who is the most consistent goalkeeper and that's kind of what i've based this list on who in my opinion i think are the most consistent goalkeepers so you can see at number five we've gone for this 87 winter refresh alphonse areola if you did use the 82 areola at the beginning of the game you obviously know how good this card was it was exceptionally good obviously six foot five is really important for a goalkeeper you want your goalkeepers to be nice and tall well-rounded stats you know 89 diving 89 reflexes handling good kicking and position decent speed as well he's a really good shot stopper great reflex saves good on crosses very easy to link up obviously being french you know if you've got a french icon like i've got a Laurent blanc for example would link up perfectly with him or if you've just got, you know, so many La Liga centre-backs, they're good players to use as well. So it's very, very easy to link into teams. But for me personally, Ariola is one of those keepers that, you know, one of the disadvantages is obviously that he is inconsistent. And it's funny that we've said that, given that he is in the top five. But what we mean by inconsistent is he can be exceptionally good for seven, eight games. I played the other week against him in Champs. Played three or four games back-to-back -back against him. And I just could not score a goal for, for love nor money. And then the other day, I actually came up against this Areola in uh, in draft, two out of the four games that I was playing in draft. And I just was able to score five, six goals against it. He just wouldn't seem to save anything. And I think that's what we're talking about with goalkeepers. They are very, very inconsistent. You know, the goalkeepers, some people use them and they have a, a player, for example, they might have this Areola and some people might think this Areola is insane and some other people might use it and just think it's rubbish. And I think it's just consistency. Um, goalkeepers are very, very inconsistent in general. And I think that's why you don't see a, a number one keeper like you do in other positions. At number four, though, I've decided to go with this flashback manual Neuer. And I actually kind of regret not doing this Neuer um, at the time because I've played it quite a fair bit since, especially in champs. And it is a very, very good goalkeeper. Going straight to one of the disadvantages, um, obviously we've said that he's inconsistent at close range. So sort of in the box, he can be very, very inconsistent. Sometimes when you when I've played against this Neuer and you're in the box and maybe you'll take a finesse shot or a hit near post or a low drill and sometimes he will save everything. You know, you'll try a combination of shots, you know, the, the ones shots I've just mentioned and none of them will work. And in other games, you can be in the exact same position and everything will go in. The one thing about Neuer is every shot that you take sort of edge of the box, outside of the box, he's very, very good. He's one of the best keepers at saving those type of shots. If you try and shoot from outside of the box or at the edge of the box, more often than not, he, he seems to save it. He, and I think that's due to his, obviously, his high positioning, obviously his great reflex. And you said, as, as I've said there, I think he is probably the most well-rounded goalkeeper. I think when you look at his stats, you know, he's got 90 stats in everything. And 63 speed. Now I know that Team Year Allison has those stats as well, but that Team Year Allison for some reason doesn't seem to play very well. But this Neuer is exceptionally good, and I very much regret not getting it. At number three, I've gone for this 92 Jan Oblak, which is a card that I used a lot, a hell of a lot at the beginning. Um, not not necessarily at the beginning of the game. A couple of months ago, I was using this card, and it was exceptional. I had this get, I had this Oblak in my team. For probably about 150 200 games and it was exceptional at the time you know it just this all black at the time for me you know it was kind of a, a toss-up at the time uh, when i was using this card sort of in around december time you know december january time i think it was and it was very close between this all black and that to stegen um, they were both exceptional goalkeepers but for me personally i found that all black was just a little bit better at the time but I still think he's an exceptional goalkeeper now. Um, I, I think there have obviously been some prime icon cards, prime icon goalkeepers that have come out. But I still think this Oblak 
um, from experience when I used it in the draft or when I've had it in my team. It still is incredible, you know. He still is better than the majority of keepers that I do play against. So a lot of his advantages from the last video haven't changed. You know, still a great shot stopper, great long throw, incredible reflexes, very good on crosses. As I said, can be a little bit difficult to link. Obviously, the difference between Areola is there are some good Real Madrid players you can link him up with. Oblak maybe not as easy to link up with. Um, if you've got a pair of icon centre backs, like for me personally. I've got Blanc and Koeman, so I can have any goalkeeper I want. Hence why I changed my goalkeeper a lot, trying to find someone that works for me. If you don't necessarily have that privilege, he can maybe be a little bit difficult to link up because you can't link him up through necessarily uh, club or country. So for that reason, that is the only disadvantage. But in terms of the way he plays, I can't really fault him. I think he's exceptional in all areas. Maybe his kicking is a little bit weak. Sometimes he can be a, a little bit lax in his kicking in, uh, and he can't kick it too well because he's got 79 kicking. So that would probably be another good disadvantage for him but other than that I think he's a phenomenal goalkeeper. Speaking of Ter Stegen, I've got this 91 Ter Stegen in my team at the moment and like I said I have the privilege of being able to have any goalkeeper given that I have got two icon centre backs and this Ter Stegen for me is exceptionally good. Um, I think it's brilliant, obviously two top three shot stopper in my opinion, great long kicks, incredible reflexes save, amazing on crosses, saves it with his feet. Only little disadvantages I would give him is can punch a little bit too much, um, and especially from crosses, he does tend to punch out, and his punch is really, really poor as well. He doesn't seem to punch the ball very far. He kind of more, more or less just sort of parries it, and he always seems to parry it into the, keep it in the danger area, which is obviously a big negative from him. I'd much rather him punch it even out for a, for a corner or something, but he seems to always parry it back into the middle of the pitch, and uh, that, that kind of goes on when I say inconsistent handling. As I said, he kind of flaps at a lot of balls, um, and also a bit like Areola, um, and this is this is where it's kind of a little bit strange because with Oblak I don't really have this issue. Um, with Tostegan he can be really really good for seven eight games, and you can have no problems whatsoever. And then you might play one or two people, and and you know you could argue say maybe they're just better players, but you play one or two people, and he just doesn't seem to save anything. You know the balls, the, the shots will be going straight at him. You know just to the left or right of him, straight at him. You know through his legs, and he just won't save anything. Um, and I think that's just down to goalkeepers in general. I don't think that's a Ter Stegen issue or an Areola issue. I just think that's a general goalkeeper issue, that ha how inconsistent they are this year in FIFA. But Ter Stegen is still one of the best goalkeepers in the game. But for me personally, I have to go with this Prime Lev Yashin. Now, I haven't used the uh, the Prime Icon moments last year, Yashin, the 95. But I have used this 94 Yashin. Um, I have owned it and I did use it for a weekend league and it was Phenomenal. Like, like I said at the top of the video, um, I don't necessarily think there is a, a best goalkeeper. I know we've got a top five here and I have put Yashin at number one. And this is obviously this list is my opinion. Um, I think Yashin is the best goalkeeper that I've used this year in FIFA. He, he's so, so good. I think the fact that he's obviously got the cap is, is definitely the, uh, the big dub. But overall, I think his Yashin card was so good. You know, incredible shot stopper. Um, the only thing, like I said, with Oblak is, is this, maybe his poor kicking is the only thing that lets him down. But other than that... I've never, I've, I've not seen a keeper that makes as many saves as this Yashin. There were so many times that I played with this Yashin, and, I, and you know when you, you know your opponent gets through on goal, and you think, oh, that's going to be a goal, and he would save it, and you just think that, that those sorts of things can really change the course of a game because it can kind of give you that belief that maybe, you know, the fact that your keeper is making saves, maybe the game you can turn it around, maybe you can win it. So I think having that confidence in goal is great. Obviously, you know his, his stats are amazing: ninety-five diving, ninety-five position, ninety-six reflexes, which. I would argue are probably the three most important stats on a goalkeeper. Obviously, handling and speed are important as well. But his, uh, his reflexes, diving and positioning are probably the three most important stats. And they are super, super high 90s. But overall, I think his Yashin card, when I used it, was phenomenal. I haven't used the 95 one yet, but I imagine that would still be incredible. But for around 600,000 coins, if you've got the money to spend on that, that sort of money to spend on a goalkeeper, I would absolutely recommend this Yashin card because it was phenomenal. But that is it for the top five keepers that I think there are this year. Um, an updated list of the top five best goalkeepers. So if you do want to see you know, the fullbacks, defenders, defensive mids, box-to-box -box mids, attacking mids, wingers and strikers, do leave a like on the video if you are new to the channel and make sure to subscribe button as well if you are new as well. But that is all for today, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm out.